They enunciated the word, celebrated it, spit it out. They ran away with it. Right behind this word, you should hear the wind blowing. They spoke against the grain, interrupting one another. Oh, so shamelessly. They lived out in the open, which is the same place where they felt. I assume they were born that way. They didn't know anything about shelters, roofs, protection, patronage. Everything hurt them. And everything here means history, air, the present, the context, the subjunctive, the splitting. Agnostic rather than atheist, striking rather than beautiful, vulnerable rather than rickety, lively, more than you, more than myself. Stoic rather than strong, blissful rather than blessed. Intolerant, yes, indeed, sometimes. Did I already mention they were brutal? They walked carelessly in the cantankerous city as true muses of themselves. These mostly happened in early winter when the Santana winds blew back and forth Tijuana avenues, dragging discarded plastic wraps and the dust that forced you to close your eyes and foreclose reality. By the edge of the edge, swaying, they were the last drop clinging from the mouth of the bottle, the mythical drop, mythical drop of happiness or the prover proverbial tipping point of sex impenetrable in the sameness of its orifice. And they spilled over the worst and the waste, the epitome, the very last straw. Beneath those words, you should be able to smell the reek of the wind. I assume they only became that way over time. With men or without them, they kissed labiodentally. They moved out quite often and changed their socks and prepared rice. They climbed down the stairs and took taxis and felt no compassion. They said, this is the wind that cleanses it all and enunciated the word, emphatic, tenacious, prehuman, categorical, yes quite often poignant rather than hallucinating, sibling rather than conscious, surreptitious rather than critical, hypertextual, plain spoken. I'm sure I already said they were brutal. They smoked unequivocally. They turned pages with the devotion and the minimalist care of those in love. They were always in love. In the very dry days of the Santana winds, they faced the sky up and observed. They could spend entire hours that way. Those birds that above their heads surmounted the antagonism of the air lucidly. And the Santana winds right here, right now, you should hear the word messed up their thick, surely heads of hair once and again, the word their gory eyelashes once and again and again the word. <laughs>